what the dog doing? Oh hi there. If you are interested in finding a mouse on Minecraft PvP, then you have probably heard of the Razor Viper Mini. It's been over 2 years now, and a lot of creators have made a video about this mouse, but it seems like there are still a lot of people wondering if they should get this mouse for PvP. So here I am sharing with you my experience with the Razor Viper Mini after 3 weeks to see if it's still worth for Minecraft PvP in 2022. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright, this is an ambidextrous spell with side buttons only on the left side of the mouse. I have a really big hand and I found myself enjoying the shape of this spell despite being small and it does take some time to get used to the shape. If you have a small or medium sized hand, then it will be more comfortable for you. Claw and fingertip grips are perfect in this spell in my opinion, but palm gripping is much better if you have a really small hand. The build quality is fantastic and it feels pretty nice in the hand. The coating in the smell is really high quality. Not too grippy, but definitely good enough for me to grip it. Though it's still a budget mouse, so I wouldn't recommend for someone looking for an endgame mouse. Moving on to the glides, the smell has white 100% PTFE mouse skates. Not the best, but still above average. The core is braided and slightly stiff. Not too flexible, but still great enough where it feels nearly as good as a wireless mouse when paired up with a decent mouse bungee. The sensor is nothing too special, it's a PM Dub 3359. The LOD is a bit high, but that doesn't really affect me in game at all. What I like most about this mouse is going to be the weight. Coming in at 61 grams, I was really amazed by the weight, especially when moving from my Logitech G Pro Hero. Combined with the skates and the cord, I felt like I was getting a lot of break and potential with this mouse. Talking about the clicks, this mouse has Razer optical switches and they feel nice. They are really snappy and responsive and while they might be initially stiff, as time goes on, the switches will lose enough and you won't have to worry about that anymore. I really didn't like it at first, but the more I use the mouse, the more I like it. With that being said, if you are a hardcore jelly clicker, you might want to look for different options. The other buttons are nothing special, the scroll wheel is on the average side, and the side buttons do have a significant amount of post travel, but it doesn't affect me in game at all. In Minecraft, if you click extremely fast on this mouse, the CPS will not be really stable due to the high bounce time on the mouse. This is why I said earlier that this mouse is not suitable for people who are serious with jail clicking and even butterfly clicking. I'm just gonna... Kill you there? Okay. You think I'm dead, bro? You think I'm dead? Nah. No, I have a power of the Razor Viper Mini. Why would I be dead? Like, like... Man, how many fireballs do you have? Like, you have more fireballs than the time you make your parents proud. Okay, you gapped. Okay. Oh, right now. Oh, thanks Hypixel for lagging me back. Can I kill this guy? Okay, yes. L? Why you L me? You the one who died. Bro. Hello, sir. Hello. You dead, GG. It's gonna. Oh my god, I'm so bad at aiming, but we still got this guy, I guess. Alright, GG. Thank you for playing the game. Okay. Oh, what? Dude. No, 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 okay. We're live, we're live, we're live, we're live. Okay, good, good, good. Holy crap, chill out. Oh, he see me. He see me. No, no. Okay. Okay, you wanna fight, bro? He capped. Yes, oh my god. See? Even like, even I can click fast, I can still win the game. So, GG's, I guess. Alright, let's jump into the conclusion.
Alright, so, what do I think about this mouse? I'd say it's still a really great mouse for the price, and I highly recommend this for someone looking for a budget mouse with insane values. If you don't like the feeling of optical switches, then a Logitech G102 slash G203 or Koshe Qatar Pro is still a good buy in my opinion. This mouse is also really small, so if you have a big hand, it might take some time to get used to the shape. But we all know, it's not about the size, it's about how you use it. I mean, it still depends on your skill, so consider what suits your needs best. Peace out.